Hello, 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 Ooh, everybody out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl, Zagaya, the Zen Libra, and welcome to my channel, Seiko Tarot. How is everyone out there today? I hope you're well. This day has been peaceful. Don't you just love it when it's peaceful? And no bull from the day, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's how we like it, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm here today, y'all, to check in with my spirit guides. You know, I love my soul family. I check in with my angels. I check in with my spirit guides. I check in with my ancestors. And um, I check in with the universe. So um, now it's time for the spirit guides to take center stage and let us know what's going on out here in the ethers. Okay? What the spirit guides got to say about what's going on out here. Okay? And, of course, I pull from the goddess energy. So I have my three ladies here to, to give us that feminine energy um, so that my spirit guides can do their thing. All right? And the feminine energy that I pull from, the first one was Kali. 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 And she's giving us the energy of shadow. So somebody's in the shadow side, um, people. Um, that's not a good thing. Do some work on yourself. But that's the energy that's here. Thank you, Kylie, for being here. Thank you for honor, honoring us with your energy and your presence. We adore you, goddess. Okay? All right. We got my girl, Nut, here. And she's giving us the energy of resurrection. Somebody has went through a resurrection. Death and resurrection. That's that Scorpio energy. That's my girl, Nut. Okay. And of course, we got my girl, Chango, here. And she's giving us that energy, that divine feminine energy. Okay. That's my girl, Chango. I want to thank Chango for uh, being here, honoring us with her presence and supplying us with her energy. Also, I want to thank Nut for being here, for supplying us with her energy and honoring us with her presence. And what the ladies want us to focus on today is they want the feminine energy to get centered. Something's going to go down, okay? So get centered. Uh, something's going to happen in your life, okay? Um, what's going to happen for you is your destiny, sweetheart. Your destiny. You've persevered through a dark time, and now the universe is going to honor you with pleasures, okay? Because you persevered. And this is your destiny. You're going to start a new chapter, and the new chapter is going to be the path you're supposed to be on, and it's going to be your destiny. Okay? Um, the Spirit guys say that you've, you've transformed. You went through transformation, uh, death and rebirth. Okay? Um, your third eye is open, completely open, and you're awakened. You totally transformed yourself. I love that feminine, okay? All right. The spirit guys said that your hope, you know what I'm saying? You've gone you're going through another a new chapter. Okay? Um and you bring hope. You bring hope to people. You're going through this new chapter and you're discovering some things, okay? Um this represents the um the uh, world card. Okay, so you start a new chapter, honey. And you have hope. All right. Okay. And you're also the light. You start a new chapter, honey. You're a star. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. You finna come into prosperity, bliss, joy, success, growth. You know what I'm saying? You you you, you persevered. You persevere. You are a star now. You persevered through this dark time. You know what I'm saying? And um, now you finna start your new chapter with your destiny. You are a star. You're destined to be a star. That's it. That's in your chart. You're destined to be that. And you persevered through this hard time. So the universe is finna honor you with pleasure. Pleasures of the earth. Okay? Sounds good to me. And they want you to get yourself centered. They want you to get yourself centered because... <laughs> the shit finna hit the fan, okay? It's finna, it's, it's finna, it's finna be some blow up shoeism. You hear what I'm saying? It's finna be some blow up shoe, blow up shoeism. So get ready for it, 
okay? All right. Okay, spirit guides. Let's get us a real on transformation. What's going on out here? Somebody is in the shadow side and they want to resurrect something with this divine feminine. Somebody wants to resurrect a relationship with this divine feminine. Um, and spirit wants her to get ready because it's going to get a little hot in here. You know what I'm saying? Um, you've transformed. You're going through another chapter in your life. And you're a star. You're going to come into growth, happiness, and bliss. You know what I'm saying? Get yourself centered, honey. Because every time you're right at the threshold, there's always something demonic that comes around and try to stop you. And this person is in their shadow side. So this is a, a demonic energy, a toxic energy, a low vibing energy that's coming around you that's in their shadow side. And um, you need to ground yourself and center yourself, okay? All right? And get ready for this joker that's coming by, all right? Also, they want you to get ready and grounded and centered because you're going to go through a new chapter. You're going to go into a new area, a new arena that you've never been through before. You're going to grow so much. You're going to have so much prosperity and success. And they want you to get ready for it and get centered. But first, got to handle this bastard that's in his shadow side that just insistent on resurrecting a relationship with this divine feminine. Okay? Transformation. <coughs> Transformation. Okay. Wow, we got a king of wands here that's very passionate about this divine feminine. Um, they don't want her to move on, you know what I'm saying? That's because they are obsessed with her. Uh, they want their ships to come in with her, you know what I'm saying? They want her to come back to them, you know what I'm saying? But this divine feminine has let this masculine go because... She sees this person for who he is. She sees he's manipulative and deceptive. So she doesn't have any more feelings for him. She's transformed. She's, uh, her third eye is open. Um, she sees this person for whom he is. You know what I'm saying? And this uh, masculine has so much passion for this feminine. But she don't care. She's not the same person that she used to be. And she's not going to be with this person. Um, because the secret is out about this person. So she let this person go. Uh, completely out of her energy and this person is the emperor guys this person is the emperor you know what I'm saying and um, she let him go she let him go okay he's obsessed y'all he's obsessed with this feminine you know but she's not coming back to him but he's waiting he wants her to he wants her to you know but she's not she the third eye is completely open about who this masculine is and what he is, okay? So she's not going to resurrect uh, with this person, okay? Let's do hope. Let's do hope here. What you got to say, spirit guys, about hope over here? Okay? This person is completely in that shadow side. You know what I'm saying? And um, they are obsessed with this feminine. But... Who's not obsessed with the divine feminine? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he late. He late on the boat. You know what I'm saying? This person wants a partnership with this feminine, you know what I'm saying? And it's a burden on him that he can't have sex with her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this feminine knows that this masculine has a lot of options, so she's not going to reconcile with him. And this masculine is hurt, you know what I'm saying? Um, this feminine 
is not going to get in a three-party situation with this person because that's what he's trying to put her in. You know what I'm saying? But he's hoping, you know what I'm saying, that uh, she would get in this three-party situation and she's not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? He is so obsessed with having sex with this feminine, having a new beginning with this feminine, but he's not doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? He's not um, getting rid of all of his options. You know what I'm saying? He sits up here and wants to create an illusion like she's the only one when she knows she's transformed. Her third eye is open. She knows that she's not. You know what I'm saying? So she's not going to reconcile with this person and this masculine is hurt. This masculine is hurt, but she knows what's up with him. You know what I'm saying? She knows that this masculine is wants to juggle her, that he's non-committal, that it, she's never going to be the only one. And she's fully aware that he's a player. You know what I'm saying? So she's not going to do that. She's not going to get in a partnership uh, with him. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, he has plenty of options that he's sleeping with. So she's, it's not going to happen with her. His ship is not going to come in with her because who wants to be with a player? Especially uh, the times we in now, you know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's playing with your life because it's so much disease and stuff out here. You know what I'm saying? That's not the field to be in. A player, that's not a high status. That's not looked upon. You know what I'm saying? That's frowned upon because you get so many diseases and infestations and all this low vibe and energy, why would you want to be out here being a player? I mean, ew, you know? <clears throat> All right, the light. Yeah, she's coming into prosperity and bliss and success and growth and, and joy. You know what I'm saying? This is her destiny. You know what I'm saying? And because she's persevered, the universe is going to honor her with pleasures. You know what I'm saying? And um, she's not going to resurrect with this person. But... He wants a new beginning with her. I mean, he passionately wants a new beginning. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> he don't want her to go. And this is a heavy burden for him. He is obsessed with her. You know what I'm saying? But she's not going to have a new beginning with him. She's not going to have sex with him. You know what I'm saying? He just wants his ships to come in with her. And he wants to create this illusion um, that she's the only one. And she's not. He has several options. He wants to be a player. That's why she let him go. And she's not going to reconcile with him. She's her third eyes open and she done figured out. She see him for what he is. You know what I'm saying? A, a player. You know what I'm saying? And um, the secret has been revealed how deceptive he is. And she didn't. Her heart is cold to him. You know what I'm saying? Because why would you give your heart to somebody like that? You know? And this person is hurt. This masculine is hurt. This emperor is hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because she see through him and she's not going to allow herself to get in a three-party situation. You know what I'm saying? But who does that? You know what I'm saying? Man, you know? <clears throat> mm. Yeah. This this feminine, she's a divine feminine, so she has earth angel uh, energy. You know what I'm saying? Um, she's not going to be with him. And he's frustrated. You know, he's frustrated. Um, it's not going to be a union. It's not going to be a union with these with these two, and um, whatever he's doing um, to try to get her back is not working. And that's this emperor here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, she's not a fool. You know what I'm saying? She knows this person has secrets, and um, he's frustrated and he hates that uh, she's figured him out. You know what I'm saying? Um, he didn't put any effort time or energy into her you know what I'm saying and um she's she's not gonna she's not gonna let him do that you know what I'm saying she's blocking him out of her energy she don't want to be around him because why would you want to put be with somebody that doesn't want to put any time or energy or effort into you you know what I'm saying but here he comes back here he comes back y'all um because she's a star because she's a star, here he comes. You know what I'm saying? But she's made the decision to move forward. You know what I'm saying? Because this person, um, she feels this person is bad news. And this person is bad news. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person here is, is uh, has addictions. You know what I'm saying? And, and they're totally obsessed with her. You know, this person is a devil. 
You know what I'm saying? This is totally toxic energy here. You know what I'm saying? He's obsessed with not letting her move on. You know? He's obsessed with this new beginning with her. He's obsessed with having a partnership with her. He's obsessed because he can't have sex with her. He's frustrated. And this is his emperor who wants to play the field. You got an emperor here that's in his shadow side. Uh, so the only reason he's showing up as an emperor is because he wants to control everything. He thinks he's King Dingaling. You know what I'm saying? And actually, <laughs> actually he is King Dingaling. That's all he thinks about. You know what I'm saying? Is sex. Sex rules his life. You know what I'm saying? And um, he gets him caught up in situations and circumstances, and uh, he makes a bad decisions that he shouldn't make, all because. He wants to leave with his dick. You know what I'm saying? That his dick thinks for him. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to be so vulgar, but that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Look at his rod right in front of him. That's all he thinks about. That's all he thinks about. You hear me? I mean, it's sad. But you want a, a partnership with somebody. How are you going to have a partnership with somebody when you sitting up here? you messing with about seven women. Create illusions for all of them, making them think that they're the only one when they're actually not. And you playing all of them. You playing all of them. You know what I'm saying? And she, you know, she refuses. You know what I'm saying? She refuses um, <clears throat> to be a part of your hair room. She refuses to uh, party with you like that, to do threesomes and stuff, because that's what he's into, y'all. He lives a kind of polygamous lifestyle, and he wants her to be a part of his harem, and she refuses to do that. That's why she let his ass go, and all the charm and everything that he can say and whatever he's doing is not working because she's not going to come back because she is the only one. She is the only one. She's the only thing that you will ever need, honey, you know what I'm saying, because she's the freaking divine feminine. You don't make a divine feminine an option. You don't make a divine feminine be an option. I mean, what is wrong with this person? You know what I'm saying? He don't deserve to be with her. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if she's not all that you need, honey, something is wrong with you because she is all that a man needs. And this person don't understand that. They can't see or fathom themselves in a monogamous relationship because they haven't had a real woman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you meet up with a real woman. You don't need a, a real woman will tame your appetite for other women. You know what I'm saying? And um, this person is a star. This is a divine feminine. You got with a divine feminine, you would have had no appetite for nobody else. You know what I'm saying? But um, he lost out. And he knows he's lost out. You know what I'm saying? Because she's a star. You know what I'm saying? She's going in a new cycle um she's starting a new life she's transformed she's gonna live out her destiny you know what i'm saying and um she persevered through some dark times in her life and that's why the universe is gonna honor her with earthly pleasures you know what i'm saying and she's not gonna be with this masculine you know what i'm saying so why would she why would she be with someone that she knows is with other women who does that and any woman that does that, you're not loving yourself, honey. You're diminishing um, your self-worth. Because if a man deals with four women, one is nothing uh, for him because he could just replace it with others. You know what I'm saying? Go back and look at my video um, on polygamy. You know what I'm saying? And I broke the word down. You know what I'm saying? And you, you're lessening, lessening the value of yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you allow this person to be with other women, you know what I'm saying? Um, but a divine feminine caters that appetite for that masculine. You know what I'm saying? If he would have ever took the time to put effort and energy into this connection, which he never did, you know what I'm saying? He would have seen that he would have been tamed from wanting to sleep with other women because she's all, she's all that he needs. She's all that he needs. But this particular masculine doesn't know that because this masculine has uh, traumas in his life. And he's living out of his shadow side. And he needs to heal. He needs to heal. You know what I'm saying? Um, anybody that likes to have sex like that, something that's happened to him, 
you know what I'm saying, in their childhood, they could have been molested or anything, neglected, abandoned, um, wasn't treated right by their uh, parents, mother, uh, typically, and um, they need to heal from their trauma. Something is wrong with this particular person. They need to heal from their trauma. They have some shadow work to do. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you think that you're going to put a divine feminine on the back burner. You really got some shadow work to do. You know what I'm saying? You need to do your research on the divine feminine because she is whole and complete in everything that you will possibly need masculine. You know what I'm saying? But you're living in your shadow side. So you don't understand that because you need some healing. You need to go and heal yourself before you try to jump in a relationship with anybody. But he's sexually driven. You know what I'm saying? That's why he got seven women over there. And he wants this divine feminine to be eight. I mean, really? You know? <clears throat> He wants to resurrect this relationship, but she's not going to do it. She's not going to do it. I mean, why would you um, get back with somebody and, and be a, a, a fourth wheel in a relationship? I mean, that's crazy because she knows he's not going to put any effort into her. He knows She knows he's not going to invest in her in time and energy because he's giving it to everybody else. So he's splitting up his time and his energy. You know what I'm saying? So she's not going to. You know what I'm saying? She's not going to do that. And this masculine is hurt because she's not finna cater to his lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But he's coming at a full-fledged. He's coming at a full-fledged. And he's definitely in the shadow side. So the uh, spirit wants this, this, this feminine to get centered and get ready because he's coming. You know what I'm saying? He's um, very passionate. Um, and um, he's ready to take action. He's ready to jump out of his seat. You know what I'm saying? Because he wants this partnership with his earth angel energy, with his divine feminine. He's ready to take action, so get centered. He's coming, and he's a fool coming your way um, because he's in his shadow side, and he is obsessed. You know what I'm saying? He's definitely, why you so obsessed with me, boy, I want to know. You know what I'm saying? You know, but uh, hey, you know. Um, leave it alone, masculine, but, you know, prepare yourself, feminine, you know what I'm saying, and continue to love yourself, you know what I'm saying, you love yourself, you love the universe, and the universe rewards you for that, this, this feminine has persevered, so she's finna get rewarded with pleasures, she's finna get a, a, a rewarded with success, happiness, bliss, joy, get prosperity, you know what I'm saying, she's a star. This is the new chapter that she's finna start, and this is her destiny. You know, love yourself, ladies. I mean, uh, self-love conquers everything, ladies. Love yourself. Love yourself. You love the universe, and you will definitely get your flowers and your reward. Okay? The goddess is inside of you. All you have to do is nurture her and let her come out. Okay? You give to her, she definitely is going to give back to you. You know what I'm saying? Because the universe is a circle. What you give out is what you get back. You know what I'm saying? And this masculine can skip to dip his ass on somewhere because this feminine is not finna be uh, number eight. You know what I'm saying? So uh, go find you somebody that's um, down with their lifestyle. There's plenty of women out there that's down with their lifestyle, but not a divine feminine baby. Because she's a whole lot to handle, baby. You get with her, you ain't going to have time for all those other women. Okay? Get you some divine feminine. But you got to do that shadow work. You know what I'm saying? You got to raise your vibration to where she's at. Other than that, she can't hear you calling up to her. She's way up in the sky. So you got to raise your vibration. Okay? She's sitting on the clouds. She can't hear you down here in the grass. You know what I'm saying? So you got to raise your vibrations. You have to do the shadow work masculine you just because you want to be with her that doesn't mean you're going to be with her everybody wants to be with a divine feminine you're not the only one you know what i'm saying you got to do your work okay you got to do your work and you chose to not put any effort uh, anything no energy into this um connection so she let your ass go you know what i'm saying let you be with all those other women you know what i'm saying so hey you know what i'm saying it is what it is you know what i'm saying you lost out you just lost one, okay? What a bum bum, okay? All right, guys. Well, this is the message that I have for my spirit, guys. If you think anybody can benefit from this message, ladies, please share it with them. Don't forget to hit that like button. 
Please subscribe if you haven't, and follow me on TikTok at Zengaida Zen Libra. I love you all, and the spirit guides have spoken. Get yourself centered, feminine, because this asshole is coming, and he's sexually driven, okay? He wants what he wants. He's obsessed. You know what I'm saying? He wants to control everything, and that's this damn emperor. He wants to control everything, okay? Um, can't even control himself sexually. He can't even conserve his um, sexual energy and do seed retention. He can't even do that, but he want to control somebody else. You know what I'm saying? This person is a narcissist, okay? And how do we uh, fight a narcissist? It's self-love, ladies, okay? All right. I love you all. And as I always end, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. Until next video, bye-bye.